Everyone, welcome to the Body Beat Down. What's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the Body Beat Down here, Michael, on this Sunday afternoon or early evening. It is 523 p.m. I think I should have got a drink of water before I started this. So, Michael, what is this? Michael, what is that? Anyway, this is a prop I made. Uh, we're going to discuss, I'm going to kind of narrate, kind of talk over a movie that I made uh, with a couple of buddies and my wife and my, she makes an appearance and my, my youngest son makes an appearance and uh, what have you. So uh, it, it's a movie that I did a, a fan film, an Indiana Jones fan film. Uh, we did it in 2015. And uh, first time I ever did anything like this. First time any of us ever did anything like this. And uh, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was an experience. And uh, it was kind of a learning thing. You know, I was really new into trying to edit videos and do stuff. And I'm still not good. But uh, I could probably do better now if I redid it. And uh, I'm not great at storytelling either. Because there are some holes in the story. But uh, we'll kind of go over those as we watch the movie. And uh, we're going to have to have it on silent. We're going to have to mute it because uh, YouTube won't let me have it uploaded. I already tried, believe me, in 2015 and, and uh, since then. And uh, they mute it because I have like some Steven Spielberg type, you know, movie uh, music. And I have some Halo, you know, music from the video game Halo in there and... Just some other things, and they just didn't like all that. Uh, and even though I gave credit to all the proper people, it really don't matter. They're uh, they're kind of picky about that kind of stuff. So it kind of broke my little heart that you know at the time only a few people got to watch it. And uh, well, we'll we'll get it going here, and uh, we'll kind of talk about it as we go. Hope you all enjoy. And again, uh, the audio will be muted, but there might be moments that I turn up the volume uh, where there's no music or something, and we'll just kind of laugh about it and have some fun hope you enjoy this something kind of a little different uh let me resize my window here if i can um i hate to do this because it's kind of kind of annoying to try to do and let me do that and that and then we do like this i don't want to take up too much real estate come with, with my old ugly face but i want to be in there a little bit there we go so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, try and uh, get this going here. So I've already got the vi I've already got it muted. The Chronicles of Jones, the Pearl of Power, and uh, hint, this is the Pearl of Power. And this is the staff. And uh, so anyway, and you're gonna probably notice some spelling errors in here. I didn't really spell check, and I'm one of the world's worst spellers on the planet. So uh, every everything that we did here was kind of a it was local. Um, this is actually a, a swampy kind of area in between where we live and uh, Jackson, Tennessee. There's a kind of a swampy area through there, and uh, these guys are always out doing crazy stuff. So they knew where to go. They're brothers, and uh, uh, the one in the back is a, a buddy of mine. The one in the front is you know we're acquaintances, but. Uh, you know we've known the we've known the guy in the back since he was a little kid so uh yeah luckily they wanted to have some fun here and uh if you'll notice it's kind of you may not notice but it is sped up a little bit i sped it up because like the real speed of it was uh pretty slow so at the time i sped it up a little bit and you wouldn't really notice notice it was sped up if you didn't see you know the guy in the back there we'll call him professor isaac uh, you know his, his movements are kind of fast there so uh, and this whole video was shot with my digital SLR and uh, the bad thing about that is it doesn't have uh, autofocus or anything uh, it's an old digital SLR from about 2009 2010 it's a Nikon D, uh, D3100 and uh, but I did the best I could I even made a little camera rig for it out of PV out of, out of a CPVC and I'm using it here and it's not helping 
so uh, just kind of you know I used what I could and uh, the phone my phone at the time heck I probably could have used it and would have done just good or better uh, now if I would have had this my little action camera uh, that would have worked out even better because it has image stabilization and autofocus and you can make this right here look still like it's not moving <laughs> so uh, technology is great uh, these days but uh, anyhow yeah this is some uh, woods I think we're out by LBL uh, by land between the lakes area and uh, what am I doing here they gum light let me turn these off there uh oh there we go sorry about that guys uh, but anyway they are moving around here and I think I have music here I'm not real sure no I don't and the acting is really fun <laughs> we found it there it is <laughs> I love it so yeah it does have some audio there uh, some music so let me crank that down but uh Again, uh, we had a good time, and they knew where some of these little spots were out at LBL, and of course I didn't. I don't. I never really went out there, but uh, they knew where this little bunker thing was, and I had this uh, little chest. I took one of my wife's little chests, whatever the thing is, and uh, that's what we use here. And uh, pretending like he's digging it up, of course, and. Uh, but I'm glad, you know, they were gung-ho and pretty ready to do stuff. Sometimes they had to kind of cancel, you know, days and stuff where we should have got out there. But overall, things went fairly well. And uh, you'll see he he's holding a, a journal. I made the journal and drew pictures in there and did all kind of stuff and tried to age it and all that. And I, like how he, I do like how he just throws it, though. It's kind of a nice little part. And there's the Pearl of Power. And uh, that's yours truly, uh, me, Indiana Jones' grandson. And uh, this paper clipping that you're going to see here in just a moment is uh, something that I printed out and I just kind of pasted it in the newspaper. Uh, try and make it look kind of legit. And uh, talking about uh, my this hiker talking about this hiker who found Jones journal so it's gonna be my grandfather's journal it is it is gonna be your grandfather's journal so uh, uh, luckily I had my son here my, my oldest son was still in Las Vegas we just moved back uh, in 2014 and uh, so my, my oldest son was still in Las Vegas and uh, or he would have been in it too but uh, he wouldn't hear but yeah we had a good time now what I was going to do my plans for this was I have some of the original footage that I shot and my original plan that I keep forgetting that I can't do but my original plan was to redo this and try to add in some new music and uh, you know score music score and uh, so I could get it uploaded but I don't for some reason have all the pieces to the puzzle I don't have all the all the original footage and I could take some from the from what I got here from my movie and kind of place in there and uh, story is this story is the this hiker found my grandpa's journal that you just seen Professor Isaac throw uh, he found it out in the woods and uh, so uh, you know whenever you're making a story uh, you, you gotta kinda make sure you fill in fill in all the little holes there so people kinda exactly know what's going on it's it's kinda obvious what happened here but uh and so now he's now he's sending out his goons and that the first guy that went out was uh, one of my brother-in-laws. Uh, he's sending out his goons to take care of me. 
evil laugh. You gotta have the evil laugh. And uh, this is one of this is our library. They let us uh, they let us do a scene in the library. And this is my wife that reluctantly did this part. She was okay with it, but she was very uh, very nervous. And you know, because there was people here, uh, there was some like a group of kids kind of over that way, and uh, it kind of affected both of us. We we weren't projecting our voices quite uh, like we should. And, and again, the script was just, you know, I had scripts wrote out and everything, and uh, but we kind of loosely kind of followed them and kind of ad-libbed a little bit and just kind of got through them the best we could because, you know, we're not actors. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the journal to Miss Elizabeth to uh, just try to examine, see if she can find any clues that might help out. Uh, that might help out what's going on and uh, why maybe Professor Isaac took the journal. And uh, and I still have, I, st I think I still have my the little journal I made and, and stuff. And uh, of course I still got the staff. I made two staffs. I made a smaller one for once for one scene. But then I made a full-size one for uh, uh, a final scene. <laughs> you know, uh, doing something like that is is fun. It, it's stressful because I'm kind of put in a position where I got to kind of tell my wife, you know, do this. You got to speak a little louder. You got to do this and. Here we go. Perhaps we can go out for coffee. Well, perhaps, perhaps we can go out for some coffee. Yes, it has. <laughs> I appreciate it very much. So, we're fixing to have a wonderful fight scene that's hilarious. Uh, again, uh, I've never done nothing like this. And this is, of course, one of Professor Isaac's goons coming to get me. So, well, let me turn that down. Uh, again, don't want to get punished by YouTube. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's some good fun. Watch this, watch this. Things didn't go well. When you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. And the funny part about his his moaning there <laughs> is he didn't really, he didn't make any sounds when he fell. And I'm like, well, you know, I need some sounds. Yeah. So I found that crazy sound bite on uh, online and uh, just put that in there and. Uh, that was funny. That was fun to do. <laughs> everybody, everybody thought that was a, a funny touch. And you notice how the colors look bad here. Number one, that house that we were living in had horrible lighting. Number two, uh, I didn't know at the time. Well, let me tell you in a minute. Isaac, Elizabeth. That's right. Now So what this is is Isaac is calling me. Uh, he he uh, he and his goons took Elizabeth, and uh, and holding her captive, and uh, and so he's giving me stuff I have to you know telling me things I have to do you know he wants he wants the journal he wants to he knows there's more to the pearl of power than just the pearl there's more to it which is the staff and uh, he's he's making me you know kind of help him out or he's going to hurt Elizabeth. Uh, what's funny is they were in the, like a couple of rooms uh, in the back in the in like the utility room on a phone talking and I had to shut the doors that way you wouldn't hear them. <laughs> so I had the phone on speaker and then you could hear them that way like I was really talking to them. So that was pretty fun. 
And this here is, is there any audio? All right, we'll try and listen here. But that's one of my uh, Indiana Jones hats that I had. I sold all my stuff except a couple of things. Still got my jacket. But uh, all these were like, all these are like replicas of real Indiana Jones uh, gear. I got a whip and of course the whip holder and all that is really good. Uh, the hat, I had two hats. One is a, a Fed 4 or a Kubra, whatever. And it was, it's, it's uh, more of a replica, you know, from another company. But then I had Steve Delk, which made Indiana Jones's hat for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. He actually made hats uh, for sale and uh, custom hats. And, you know, you could measure and tell him what you wanted and customize it and all that. And uh, I bought one of those as well, but uh, I didn't really use it for any of this. So I used a little bit lesser expensive, uh, close enough hat. And uh, it, was, uh, it was actually, I liked it better than the uh, expensive replica <laughs> from uh, Mr. Delk. So, wish me luck. The jacket, of course, it's official. It's, you know, like really good. So, uh, I got music there that'll definitely be copywritten. So, we got me taking a trip. From good old Tennessee over to Kansas. Actually, all of us. He, he told, I uh, said, meet me at the airport. And so he and his goon met me at the airport. So now we flew out to Kansas. Listen. What are you, a lion tamer? Yeah, my grandfather got that a lot too, I'm sure. Be careful. It's a rental. <laughs> what are you, a lion tamer? Yeah, my grandfather got that a lot too. And then, <laughs> And then Professor Isaac says, "Be careful! It's a rental." <laughs> I love that line. I love that. I love that. Just little that little clip there. I don't know. It's kind of funny. This here's kind of long and drawn out. It's just kind of a car ride, and we're gonna do some talking in the car. I don't think there's any music. How did you get my grandfather's journal? It was quite easy. Remember a couple weeks ago when we had that meeting at your house with all those professors? You're all too trusting. So he got my journal while he was at my house. The archaeology, history, and the school. We all have our flaws. <laughs> <laughs> and this, of course, is just part of our county we're driving around in. And So pretty much after this drive is when I really don't have any any of the footage, any of the raw footage. So if you knew the importance of the so. journal, why did you just leave it? Once I found the Pearl of Power, I did more research. I knew there was more to it, and I knew the journal had the answers. And, uh, so you've had your goons spying on me? I got my youngest, my youngest kid. You've known one another for 15 years. He's using my Jones. you know, digital Jones. SLR Jones. trying to get his film here. Trying to, you know you trying to read some time. lines. What was I to do? Be a good boy and keep deciphering those clues. I'll be a good boy. So, they got me along because I got to try and decipher these clues in this journal. But yeah, that's something a lot of you out there don't know on the Body Beatdown, especially is that I'm a huge Indiana Jones fan and some of the greatest movies that's ever been put to film. Uh, you know, let's face it, especially the first three. Okay, uh, we're here. But the last we'll two over. that they made are not bad, or so uh, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with them. Where a lot of people don't like them, but they're good. Good stuff. And uh, we're going to have to turn it down in a minute. What's funny is I'm out of the vehicle here. I'm actually filming. <laughs> but I'm supposed to be in the vehicle. So... Uh, kind of funny I'm out I think my son was still in there I don't remember if he got out with me or not we'll turn this up a little
so we go for some trekking through the woods here down the stream and uh, this was really it, it was a nice place to go and it was it was perfect for what we were looking for and this is one of my favorite shots of the whole movie when I step into frame like that and uh, that's one of my favorite scenes And uh, it's kind of funny because I'm naturally kind of a nice guy, and so I'm really being nice to him here. <laughs> it's like I help him across the, the stream, and I'm like, come on, buddy. Oh, I can't turn that up. There's music. So, so anyway, and uh, something else that's funny, if I remember to point it out uh, pretty soon, I'll try to remember to point it out. See stuff like this. I could have I could have cut the shot a lot earlier and done things a lot differently. But of course, like I said, you know, all new, new to this kind of stuff. And uh, I think this has music too. Yeah, yeah, it's got music, so I can't turn it up. But basically, I'm saying we got to go up here. And with like most low budget movies, you know, uh, fan movies and stuff like that, there's a lot of walk in, a lot of static camera, and a lot of stuff like that. So, uh, you know, when you're not a professional, it, it shows. But we had fun. And I said, I'll go first. When you get up there, don't be that down. I'm tired. <laughs> tired? Yeah. I said I'll go first and he said when you get up there throw me the whip down and uh, to help him up to help kind of pull him up and some of the stuff I'm doing is not easy All right, boys. Come on. Throw me the whip. And I gotta turn it down now because or right, here in just a second down. You're getting old. And on the uh, on this part here, you might notice, which you may not, but that's actually not a whip. I had a rope. I bought a rope and I spray painted it because it wasn't kind of the right color. But I just spray painted it and used it for that. And uh, then you'll see the rope or the whip kind of right there in my hand. But uh, I didn't want to use my whip to try and pull someone up. And you'll notice we left this little goon. <laughs> this little goon buddy down there, he just got to get up on his own. <laughs> so, this right here was another cool part. This is it. We got to get up above the rocks. That we uh, came face to face with. And it was probably 14, 16 feet up and, you know, up. Something like that. Somewhere around there. And it was all slippery and treacherous and never done it before. And I gotta turn it down because we're gonna have music pop more in than, here. More than you know. So I'm letting you know it's gonna be worth following me up there more than you know. So uh, obviously I I may know something that there's that I've seen in the journal probably that looks like danger. So yeah, you know his his time's coming, maybe. But uh, and I sped this up too, and of course it loses focus because my camera again doesn't have autofocus and they weren't down there you know they wouldn't have really known how to sit there and racket focus and all that kind of stuff and so it just kind of is what it is and you kind of do what you do and uh, that was hard that was very difficult to get up <laughs> that was not easy but uh, by the time I got up there, yeah, it's it probably it's probably maybe 12 feet. I don't like to over exaggerate things, but somewhere but maybe between 12 and 14 ish. I don't know, but uh, it was up there pretty good ways. Get back in the frame. And then, of course, I can't have it turned up because we got music going. But uh, I tell them, I tell them, all right, boys, it's your turn. Let's go. And, uh, 
It was slick. You see all that moss. That's a lot of moss that you're climbing on. Plus, it's full of leaves on that whole entire <laughs> area there. So, it wasn't easy to get up and, and do this. But it was worth it. It was a cool little spot. And, of course, again, if it was filmed differently and all that, it would have probably you could have made it look epic, you know. But it's a learning process, and, and it was fun, and that's really all that matters. You know, this is part of, now this is before uh, my whole get up, get out, get ran, do it to it thing, but this is kind of part, this is what I mean by get up, get out, get ran, do it to it. You know, do some stuff. This is what you call getting up, getting out, and getting ran, and doing it to it. And notice how he barely got any help, but. And this is a fun part. I don't know if I got music. Guys, we gotta take it slow. But, uh. The map is showing a trap. So the map is showing a trap. Can you spot the trap? Looks like the trap is right about here. No, no, it's okay. Don't thank my grandfather. It's okay. <laughs> I said, no, no, that's okay. Don't thank my grandfather. <laughs> and they just they just laughed. Because they didn't, you know, I, I had to say something to get them to respond. Because, you know, hey, I just got us to a booby trap. And they didn't, they're not really, you know, uh, very vocal and very, you know, animated. Kind of like myself. So, I had to, I said something. I said, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing what you can't do. <laughs> so, let me put this over that way. According to the map. According to the map. This is a danger zone. On the map, there's an image of a guy running. It says, danger, run. <laughs> so I'm assuming we had better run. Here come my great special effects. Get ready, guys. <laughs> so I gotta turn this down because we got some music coming in here. Now what we have here is we're we're making it to a area here. Uh, again, we're searching for the staff. We already have the pearl of power. We're looking for the staff. Now see, I don't explain that in the movie, and I don't explain a couple other things in the movie. Uh, but let's just let's just go ahead and discuss right here while we're doing this. Right now we're searching for where the staff might be. So one of the problems that I that I didn't really address in here is why we had to go through the booby traps. Well, originally I was thinking, well, if we try to go around the booby traps, we start over back where we started, back where you know at the beginning of the trail. And uh, every time we try to go around them, we start back at the beginning of the trail. So you have to stay on the trail, which means you have to go through the booby traps. And that's why, you know. And I, I wish I would have. I wish I would remember to have touched on that in the movie, and uh, even even did a couple of sequences where we had to start over. But it just, you know, everything goes through your mind, and you're kind of in a hurry, and you're trying to get things done, and you know. Uh, but you do the best you can, and right there, right there is what we're looking for, right there. Uh, and uh, I made that gravestone. Uh, gravestone. <laughs> That's YouTuber. Uh, I made that gravestone right there, and I had a Dremel tool, and I drilled. Uh, I Dremeled like uh, some picture on it, and I believe it was the staff. I ended up getting rid of the stone, uh, the uh, the gravestone, because it was just uh, a little bit too much to have. Um, but it was made out of foam. It was just real lightweight. And the ending pops up really quick here, and it don't make a whole lot of sense exactly. Because I didn't really explain it in the script, but, you know, I guess the Pearl of Power, and you get the staff, and 
and that and evil becomes untamed or something, and it just and it, and it uh, calls evil up. Go ahead, let her go. You'll see it. it it's a uh, you know. I wish I would have explained it a little bit better. It's inside the tomb. So he called up his other goon to release Elizabeth because now I took him to where the staff is, and now they're gonna break that open. That was a little sound effect I added in there. And this right here is a, a smaller staff that I made. I what you're doing, Isaac. I got it. The power. Right, let me turn this down a little bit right here. I don't want... And you'll notice the monster dude. And the use of the whip. Let's go back to that. Let's go back to it. So, the power, I can feel it growing. You know, I wish... I wish I would have explained things a little better. Unfortunately, I didn't. And so it kind of gets lost. But there is a, a point where where Miss Elizabeth is saying that it can even raise the dead when she was looking at the journal. She was saying it can even raise the dead. And so that's kind of my theory there. That's what I did. It's just I don't know if it was explained well enough or enough times or, or anything like that. And uh, this is actually a place in, in our town, uh, like a museum kind of place. And uh, they, let, they let us use this... Uh, their facility uh, for just this right here. They were really nice. And uh, so, yeah. And uh, that's pretty much the end. Uh, from here, we're going to go visit Grandpa Indy. And uh, I don't think I can turn it up. I don't remember if I had music for the whole thing. Yeah, I do got music. But uh, basically, it's it's me talking to Grandpa Indy, and this is a, a cemetery that I've. I mean, we just lived right down the road from, and plus I've cycled through there later on five and a half years, and it's part of my daily route pretty much. But uh, I, I was lucky enough to find a grave uh, gravestone that was uh, said Jones. So I'm pretty much just telling him that uh, that I've you know used his gear, all of his gear that he has there to to go in on this adventure, and and uh, and that I'm gonna and that I'm gonna uphold his legacy, and you know all that good stuff. But yeah, just like that. And of course, we have the. The theme, Indiana Jones theme, as I'm walking away, uh, I can't really do it. So you know what theme that is? Da 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 da, da that one. <laughs> so that's it, guys. That's just kind of a, a little narrating, a little something of uh, a movie that we did a while back, and uh, I'm proud of it. Yeah, it's got holes and it's not great. You know, it's not something that's amazing but uh, it was really fun and it was an adventure and you know it, it's something that I really wanted to do and it's something I wanted to do again I even started making another script for a, a follow-up little film but we just never did it and uh, you know it is what it is if I ever do another one again that'd be that'd be okay with me and plus I'm a little better at editing now and doing stuff and I got a little better camera situations and even better smartphones you know so uh, anyhow this is something I wanted to do uh, was to kind of just narrate this and uh, bring you guys along huh there could be a sequel who knows right 
So let me let me get my screen fixed back over here if I can. Maybe it'll let me. Maybe it won't. I don't know. It does what it wants. It does what it wants. And it wants what it does. Come on now. Oh, I know. Come on, Mike. You can do this, buddy. This part of it, guys. Sometimes things don't work out. If you don't stop... Okay, never mind. I can't get it where I want it. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just do what I can. Dagnabbit. So, I'll just do what I can. We'll do that right there. We'll call it a day. Um, so, anyway, guys. If, if you have something like that that you want to do in your life, do it. Don't wait. Uh, enjoy yourself. Do things like this. And, and again, it don't have to be perfect. But, you know, it, it, it's fun to uh, explore and to do things, and especially your artistic side. You know, we all have something that we that, uh, we have kind of a passion for, love for, and interest in. And uh, this is one of mine, is uh, just doing stuff like this and all the videos that you see me put out on my, on my channel. Uh, it's just, it's fun for me. I've always been a, you know, the home video guy. I've always been the camera guy. I've always been a tech guy who likes to mess with stuff. So uh, all this stuff is just kind of fun for me. And uh, so you never know, though. I, I might make a, another run for a, another movie at some point. You never know, guys. So anyway, I just wanted to do this and hope you all enjoyed. Um, I know I enjoyed kind of going over it with you and hopefully explaining some of the plot holes and different things. Uh, all movies are going to happen somewhere. Well, not all of them. There's some perfect movies like Indiana Jones. Guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael, your incredible host. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it, and we'll see you next time on the body beat down. See ya. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.